You know the manifestations that are coming into your life because you deserve it. Remember, you deserve it. When you see it in your mind, you can physically hold it in your hands. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Now in this video, I'm gonna be explaining visualization, uh, visualization, the power of visualization, how you can visualize and improve your life with visualization. So visualization is a very, very simple concept, but if it's not done correctly, it will not work. Now, the, the key to understand of visualization is when you see it, your brain actually starts to make connections because your brain and your mind cannot differentiate between, between the dream world and reality. So essentially, you can trick the mind to believing that your reality is in fact your dream world. If you see your dream world enough times, it will pan out in your reality. And this is where we see deja vu, things like that, they all pop up because we've seen it before and we physically manifest that situation unconsciously because we're not attached to it. Now, the key with visualization, the first biggest key is getting yourself in a present state. Now, there's many different ways of doing this. Some people uh, connect to the light. They connect to the light through the top of their head and through their root chakra, so in aligning all the chakras. Another way is completely connecting to the blackness around you, connecting to the nothingness and being the nothingness. So, as soon as you've done that, you are now present. And the best time to manifest, the best time to ask the universe to connect to your higher self, you have to be present in order to do this because you are now physically asking from source. You are asking to source from source. So the best and easiest way to do this is them two ways of getting yourself present. As soon as you've done that, my, my, my preferable way is to do that. Then I meditate for five to 10, sometimes 20 minutes after that. And then I connect because I'm in such a calm state. My mind isn't racing all over the place. My mind is calm. I am calm. Things are slowly going over when I'm thinking, and this is where I get all my great when I have great ideas. They all come, not all of them, majority of them come when I'm meditating, or if you like to call it what Tom Bilyeu calls it, is thinkitating, and you're essentially tapping into a higher frame of consciousness. So once you've done the visualization, it's about visualizing exactly what you want in a way that you want it to pan out. Now. The biggest key after all the visualization is not to hold on to exactly that's the only way I can get it and that's it. Because if you hold on to that, it could have given you a better way. There could have been doors opening in your in your way or all along your process, but you're not allowing yourself to walk through them because you're fixed only on that way. So visualizing, you've got to visualize exactly what you want just to make it clearer in your mind's eye. And like I said, deja vu happens and we're like, I've seen this place before. That is something that you've seen in your mind, whether it was a dream or whether you were day, you're daydreaming and you've kicked into that, that, that frequency, that consciousness that allows you to see exactly what was there. So when you visualize it, make sure that you're doing it specifically. Make sure that you're adding in the more senses. So we have five different senses, see, hear, smell, touch and taste. They're the five senses. When you add your senses and you're doing it into your mind, you're physically creating new neurosynaptic connections in your mind, which essentially is changing the brain. When you're changing the brain, this allows new opportunities, new things, new people to manifest to you because you're connecting to a higher vibrational frequency. When you're on a higher vibrational frequency, people that are on a higher vibrational frequency will somehow connect and meet with you. So I've done it so many times where I could, have, I could have accidentally woken up a bit later, but then I bump into someone, whether I'm at the shops, whether I'm at the gym, whatever I'm doing, and I have a great conversation and realize I wasn't actually meant to be here at that time. Something was preventing me, whether that was I went to bed later, whether it was I had some more stuff to do in the evening, whether it was um, I wanted to meditate for longer in the morning. I made sure that I did my things, and for some reason, vibrations aligned, and when they align, you start to, this is when, this is where people start to see it as a bit crazy because they say, that just doesn't happen, that's just a coincidence. I do not believe that's just a coincidence. I don't believe coincidence is a real word. I believe, well, it's obviously a real word, but I don't believe it's a factual word in regards to what we're talking about here. And the law of attraction, manifesting, uh, frequencies, everything like that, 
you can get on a higher vibration, vibrational frequency and connect with someone else on there. And that's when synchronicities happens. Um, you meet great people, doors start to open, opportunities start to come your way, huge abundance comes to you, health comes to you, miracles happen. And they all happen in a, in a sh shoot of a second. You don't even realize it happening. And sometimes I've had things happen, I've looked back, and I've looked back, I did this the other day, I looked back a couple of, couple of years ago, or even last year, and I looked back and I thought, that was actually a manifestation that I manifested without me even realizing. So we're constantly manifesting, we're constantly doing that. The best thing to do is to control it. If you can control it with visualization, then you can dictate how your life goes. And if you wanna have a great life, if you wanna have a fulfilled life, if you wanna have a powerful life, the best way to do this is to dictate how your life goes. Because if you've got someone constantly pushing you to, you have to live like this, you're essentially living in their dogma. The way that they believe, the way that they think, is how you're living your life. Whereas if you live your life in your terms, maybe initially it's going to be harder. For me, it has been hard. For the past three years, it's been a, a massive struggle for me. Huge struggle. Like, ridiculous huge struggle. But I found my way out and I've manifested great things. I've manifested money. I've manif manifested people. I've manifested opportunities. I've also lost a lot of money. I've also lost a lot of people. I've also lost a lot of opportunities. But that's the yin and the yang. That's part of the process. So don't be scared that bad things might happen because they most likely will happen. That is the yin and the yang. There is always yin and yang in life. So use visualization to your advantage. And the biggest key, I'll start all from the beginning again. I'll go, I'll go back to the key with visualization is one, get yourself present. So that could be connecting to the light, feeling source, feeling energy, physically drawing into you, bright white lights, cleaning you, cleansing you, whatever it is. Or, so you've got one of two options, and this is for the first one, you've got one of two options. The, the light, or you can do the presence, present state. So this is where you get present with everything, you're present in the moment, you're connecting to the blackness, you're connecting to the, to the universe, to the wholeness, everything around you. And once you've done that, that means you are present. The next step is, well, what I say is the best thing to do is the meditation. But when you meditate, connect to your heart center. Your heart is the biggest electromagnetic field in your body. So if you're, if you're manifesting from the heart, you're physically attracting it to you. If you're manifesting from the mind, you're still, you're not, you're not attracting, you're, you're walking towards it. So it's harder to do. When things are pu pulling towards you, it makes life that much easier. So connect to your heart center. And a way to connect to your heart center is just physically feel your heart. Now, the way that I, when I first did this, I, I struggled to do this. So the best way that I did, I do this, is I feel like there's a, a pulsating ring around my heart. Because then I can feel the energy. And that's what you have to feel. It's just the energy, it's the intention. It's all about the intention. That's the biggest key. Um, I struggled really hard to actually connect to my heart center. So I figured out my way, and my way was just putting a ring around it or a ball of energy around my heart, pulsating. And when you start to sit there quietly, and you're, you're quiet enough, you're still enough, you do start to feel your heart beat a little bit. So that's how I personally do it. But once you connect to your heart, that's the most powerful thing, and then the visualization. As soon as you're visualizing, you're physically creating new new connections in your mind. So. Connect to the connect to the nothingness. Connect to the yourself. Get yourself still into the present moment. Connect to your heart and meditate. Then the third and final one is just the visualization. Visualize what you want. The more times you do it, the more likely it's going to come quicker. So visualize, meditate, and get yourself into the present state. That rhymes. It's brilliant. Right. Visualize, meditate, get yourself into the present state. So I hope you've got some value from this video. Let me know how your meditations go. Send me a message, comment on this video. Let me know how your visualization goes. Let me know the manifestations that are coming into your life because you deserve it. Remember, you deserve it. So have an absolutely amazing day. Keep smiling and keep spreading positivity.